Welcome to our today's science lesson. In this video, we will learn about how human life begins, from fertilization to implantation, and how baby grows inside a mother's womb. So let's get started. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to define fertilization and implantation, describe the process of fertilization in the female reproductive system, understand what happens during implantation and after implantation, and lastly, appreciate the importance of these processes to the growth of baby in the womb. Remember, in our previous lesson, we learned about the menstruation cycle, or I can say the menstrual cycle. We said that menstruation occurs when fertilization has not taken place. That means the unfertilized egg, together with the thick walls of the uterus lining, they are shed off through the vagina as blood. In this lesson, we will focus on what if fertilization takes place. What is fertilization itself? How does it happen? And what happens after fertilization has taken place? Let's dive in. We will begin by defining fertilization. Fertilization is simply the process where the male sex cell, called a sperm, joins the female sex cell called an ovum or egg and fertilization takes place at the oviduct or the fallopian tube. Fallopian tube is the other name of the oviduct. Remember, only one sperm fertilizes the egg and thereafter the egg forms a barrier to stop other sperms as seen in this video illustration. And after the one sperm has entered the egg, they fuse to form a single cell called a zygote and this is the beginning of a new life so fertilization is the process where a male sex cell called a sperm joins with a female sex cell called an ovum or egg to form a single cell called a zygote and now into implantation Remember, after fertilization has taken place, the zygote divides itself to form more cells as it travels down the oviduct and it becomes a ball of cells called the embryo. Once in the uterus, the embryo will attach itself to the thick, soft lining of the uterus. So the zygote divides itself into a ball called the embryo and then the embryo attaches itself into the thick lining of the uterus and this process is called implantation. So implantation is the process by which embryo attaches itself to the walls of the uterus. So this is what happens. After fertilization, we call that single cell a zygote. The single cell divides into two cells and then into four cells and then it continues dividing into eight cells. It continues dividing into more cells, and we call this amarilla. And it continues dividing into more cells called the blastocyst. And this blastocyst attaches itself to the walls of the uterus, and this process is called implantation. Remember, the embryo here, it is surrounded by the amniotic sac. Amniotic sac, it is a fluid-like bag that acts like a shock absorber and also it protects the baby and keeps the baby very warm. After the embryo is formed, week by week, the baby grows and by week 8, organs begin to form and it looks like human. Now it is called the fetus. Remember we have said it is from a single cell called zygote and then into many cells called an embryo and then by week 8 when the organs have begun to form we call it the fetus. The organs that we are talking here it is from the first month to the second month eyes, ears, arms and legs begin to form and here the baby is very tiny and it looks like the size of a bean. From the third month to the fourth month, the face begins to form. And also other organs like the kidney, liver also begin to function. And the baby can move inside. 
and then from the fifth to the sixth month fingers toes and the fingerprints appear and the baby kicks also hair begins to grow from the seventh to the eighth month baby develops rapidly baby can hear and respond to sounds and it has started to gain weight at the ninth month the baby is fully developed and it is about three to four kg and ready for birth So, we say that the baby is connected to the mother's placenta through the amniotic sac. The baby is connected to the placenta, I mean through the umbilical cord, not the amniotic sac. What is the function of the placenta? The placenta helps in providing the baby with nutrients and oxygen for the growth of the baby. And how about the umbilical cord? The umbilical cord, it is like a tube that connects the baby to the mother's placentas. This one, it carries oxygen and nutrients from the mother to the baby and also helps in removing waste products from the baby into the mother placenta so that the mother now can take out the waste. And then the baby also is surrounded by the amniotic sac. The amniotic sac, it is a fluid filled bag where the baby grows. This fluid acts like a shock absorber and also protects the babies from injuries and keeps it warm. In today's lesson, we have learned that fertilization happens when sperms joins with the egg or the ovum. And zygote, it is what is formed after fertilization. It is the single cell formed after fertilization. And the zygote grows to form embryo. From there, implantation occurs where the embryo attaches itself to the walls of the uterus. The baby grows into fetus and then the baby stays in the uterus for nine months where it is given birth by the mother. The placenta and the umbilical cord helps the baby to get what it needs from the mother, that is the oxygen and the nutrients. So we have reached the end of the lesson but before we end the lesson we will end up with questions so you can pause the video and try to answer the questions where does fertilization take place what is the name of the single cell formed after fertilization what is implantation what is the function of the placenta and at what stage is the baby called a fetus pause and try answering this video you can also go back and try to listen again the video for more understanding so that you can be able to answer these questions correctly the first question where does fertilization take place it takes place at the oviduct or the fallopian tube if you said so then well done you are correct the second question the single cell formed after fertilization it is the zygote if you say the zygote you are correct Implantation, it is the attachment of the embryo to the walls of the uterus. If you say that, you are correct. Good. And the function of the placenta, it is to provide nutrients and oxygen to the baby for proper growth. If you say that, kudos. And it is by week 8 when some body parts have begun to form. That is when the baby is called a fetus. Remember the cycle is from zygote to embryo to fetus and then to baby and all this process takes a total of nine months so that is all about our today's lesson we have learned about fertilization and implantation what they are how do they take place and what happens after implantation the growth of the baby from the zygote to the baby itself in up to nine months where the baby is ready to get out of the mother's womb, that is childbirth. Thank you for our today's lesson. Have a nice time.